Won't you crawl up in this bed with me? Cozy up in these sheets, girl. Turn whatever you please, yeah, yeah. Look, I'ma keep it simple. If you could take this invitation and just come over to mine, I'll let you decide. You wanna just say so. This is gonna be more of like a chit chat get ready with me so i'm gonna start off with the elf cooling face primer i've heard a lot of good things about this on tiktok i heard it's like a dupe for the whoa, for the milk makeup hydro grip primer pretty excited i heard you're supposed to warm it up in your hands first Smells good it has like this vanilla mint smell to it so i don't know if you guys have been following me on my social medias lately but i've recently been getting back into drawing or like art in general because like when i was cleaning my room i found my old eighth grade art portfolio and i was going through it i'm like damn i kind of miss doing art i'm actually gonna spray my sponge with the spray I've also been baking a lot. I mean, well, does just baking count? <laughs> I know I've baked on my channel before. I baked brownies in my nighttime routine. Let me know if you guys want to see like baking videos because I don't know. I think that'd be pretty fun. Okay. I'm going to go in with this other Maybelline concealer. It's a bit more high coverage. I put some of this in the back of my hand so it's easier to apply to my face. <laughs> I'm actually going to use this one to cover up whatever I have going on here. I've been breaking out a lot lately because I haven't been sleeping at the right times but I blame second semester senior year for that all those <laughs> all-nighters to study for finals and AP exams <laughs> did not do well for my skin okay skin's looking a little better you can still see some breakouts obviously but you know what it's fine everybody has breakouts and I'm still trying to not be insecure about that because I know everybody has them <laughs> So before I set my face, I'm going to use some of this cream blush. Oh, this color is so pretty. Put some on my nose because I love doing that. I'm going to show you guys a little trick. Mixing some Aquaphor and your regular powder highlighter and you'll get your own liquid highlighter basically. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the Aquaphor on the back of my hand that much. And then just kind of like go in with the highlighter. And then you basically mix it with the Aquaphor. Ooh. Yes, you can see like where my natural highlight is. That's where I would put it. Do you see that? I'm gonna be using a pressed powder. I would normally use a translucent powder, but since I'm breaking out a bit more, I need the extra coverage. So make sure to blend out any creases under the eyes before you set it first. Kind of like to set my powder like in this triangle. And then just doing a little bit extra on my blemishes. trying to use all affordable stuff here for you guys instead of like high-end but taking some extra and setting places where I would bronze my nose as you can see I've had this for a while I've hit pan on this basically just bronze the perimeter of my face I'm using like a light hand when I'm like diffusing it inwards so it doesn't look too muddy you know what I mean there you go I can't really tell, but in person, it gives you that like summer glowiness, which I like. Of course, we can't forget about the nose. Don't forget to bring your contour all the way to your eyebrows, because it'll look weird if you don't. I don't know if you can tell because of the lighting, but I recently dyed my hair a lighter brown. I don't know why the light isn't picking it up, but I'm going to use a lighter brow shade than I normally do. For the eyes, I'm just gonna use the same bronzer. I know how much you guys miss my makeup videos just as much as I miss doing them. When I first started this channel, I wanted it to be like purely makeup, but as of lately, you guys know that I've been doing more like vlog style type of videos and like fashion. I don't know, I really miss doing makeup videos and I've gotten quite a lot of good feedback on it, so I mean, if you guys like it so much, I'll try to do more makeup videos for you guys. I'm gonna use a brown pencil liner this time. This one by Rimmel also comes with like a little sharpener at the end, so you can kind of like... I don't know if you see that. Yay! <laughs> okay, how am I gonna do this <laughs> so you guys can see? So, 
that's just what it looks like right now but i'm gonna take a small angle this is actually for your eyebrows but i don't use brow pomade anymore so i use it for eyeliner i think i fixed it okay i really like this a lot i think i'm also gonna do my inner corner liner Oh, sorry. If you guys wanted to see another playlist video, I sadly had to take down my uh, first playlist video, my go to playlist. And I'm just putting you guys on some good ass music, but YouTube was just like, no, if you don't take this down, we're gonna demonetize you. I'll try filming another playlist video for you guys again. Also, I hope you guys are enjoying my, I guess, weekly uploads. I've been trying to upload every Saturday or so. I'm trying to post every week instead of every few months. Anyways, <laughs> my lashes are- <laughs> My lashes are dry. I don't know why I'm so energetic today. I think it's the caffeine in my green tea. It's not green tea. Yes, it is green tea. Okay. I think we're done with the face. Okay. I'm gonna set my face with the Morphe scent spray again, just to lock everything in. As it dries a bit, I'm just gonna go back in with my pressed powder and just set my central region. Is that even a- nope. T-zone. There you go. <laughs> because it's looking a little too dewy. Put this part again. Oh shoot, I forgot to put highlighter. I need to put on some highlighter. Mm, here as well. Rudolph, I'm joking. Face done. Now let's move on to lips. I actually have two options and I'm not quite sure which one I want to do. Actually, I think I do. Yeah, I do. Okay. I'm gonna go in with this next one. I feel like I should have <clears throat> blotted my lips first. <laughs> uh, I'm just like messily blending it outwards. I think I'm gonna go in with some of this Undone Beauty lip to cheek palette thing. Ooh, I like that. I basically just like put it in the center and then just like blend it outwards. I'm gonna touch up the edges with some NYX natural lip liner. I'm just kind of like overlining my cupid's bow and under here. I don't know if I should add some gloss because I do have this like one by Revlon. Should I? Should I? Mm. Actually, mm. <laughs> I don't know. Because if I, mm. <laughs> this always happens whenever I do makeup. Okay, actually, nah. I think we're good. Next time. This is an option though. If you want a bit more color, you can add some of this stuff. Okay, so now I'm gonna be trying out the Olens lenses. Thank you so much, Olens, for sponsoring this video and for sending me some of your products to try on. I'm actually really excited for this because I've seen these contact lenses everywhere. Oh, I'm so excited. They sent me some Wow, they actually sent me a lot <laughs> for me to try on for you guys, but I think I'll just show you three for now, which is the ones that I picked. So, yeah. Whoa, loading. First, the contact lenses I'm going to be showing you guys today are the Spanish Real Olive lenses, the Scandi Aqua. The last one I'll be showing you, which is the Smoky, oh, Russian Smoky Gray lenses. They also sent over their Oh Fresh contact lens moist cushion drops. So I'm gonna show you guys what they look like on. I think I'll try on the Spanish Real Olive color contacts first. They come in like individual little packets, obviously. I'm gonna put some of this stuff inside of it. And it didn't ruin my eye makeup. Ooh! They're so pretty stuff. Okay, do my other one now. Now I'm gonna try the Scandi Aqua lenses. The last one is the Russian Smoky lens in gray. Oh yeah, 
think there's a lot. Wow. Oh, damn. Damn. If you wear contact, they also offer like a prescription version. So, you know, I just got it in zero power because I don't need prescription with my color contacts. But anyways, I'm excited to try this. I think these have to be my favorites and it matches my cardigan. <laughs> Oh, I love them. Ooh. Okay, so that basically ends off today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Just got a chance to sit down and chat for a bit. And of course, try some new colored contacts by Olens. I like these lenses a lot because they're really comfortable in the eyes, especially with their Oh Fresh. They're pretty thin as well, so you can't really feel them in your eyes. Well, that's coming from someone who wears contact lenses already. But these are a lot thinner than my prescription contacts, so if you're starting out, these are pretty flexible and easy to put on. Just make sure that they're really moist with contact solution and use their Oh Fresh cushion drops before you put them in your eyes. All Lenses has a lot of options with their contact lenses and colors, so make sure to check out the website. I also have a discount code for you guys to use. It's just XO Lumiere. Save some money. We got you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos by me. 